Greetings uh, from the Gambia. And um, I just want to air out some of my grievances I have been a concerned Gambian who also participated in the making sure that uh, our former dictator is kicked out of the Gambia. I just want to buttress or add in my own little understanding of uh, our political uh, uh, political situation we find ourselves in. Um, listening to what the spokesman for the coalition said yesterday on the issue and stand of the coalition and their desire of wanting to participate in the next com coming parliamentary election as a group, just the way they came in for the presidency. And some political parties like the UDP and NRP having questions and raising some eyebrows about that, meaning not wanting to join as a coalition to stand for the upcoming parliamentary elections. Uh, I just want to say something. I think the UDP as a political party should know one thing that uh, the coalition, number one, was not elected by a majority of Gambians, meaning we still have uh, a lot of, uh, meaning more than 50% of the electorate did not elect them, which means uh, we still have a divided Gambia. And in order to, and in order to unify these divided Gambians, bring them under one umbrella, I think it is just right that the coalition contest these elections, the upcoming parliamentary elections, under the coalition ticket. Lawyer Dabo should know one thing. I, for one, I did not even want him to be part of New Gambia because I felt that whatever he did and whatever he went through, it's true, as a human being, he should not have gone through that, but looking at uh, <clears throat> looking at uh, the situation surrounding his arrests lawyer dabo has been in the gambia and has been a veteran politician for so many years he has been opposing the gambia uh, the the aprc government for so many years but uh, whenever he sells his message to the gambians gambians have never really identified themselves with his ideologies meaning they did not they never wanted him to be president in the first place and that being the fact and um, after 22 years struggling to remove Yajame became a, a difficult task for gambians they decided to come together and when they came together luckily it was somebody from his party who won the the, the elections they did when that happened, the appointed Adam Abara, Adam Abara, sorry, became the flag bearer. That being the fact, the UDP has no more right to dictate to Gambia or to ask anything from the Gambians. We didn't know Adam Abara, but for the fact that uh, Gambia, the various parties came together, despite their differences, we put uh, they decided to put aside their differences and. Uh, and supported Adam Abaro to be the presidential candidate. He won the election coming from the UDP party. And then when he came, <clears throat> as, when he was inaugurated, he started make, forming his cabinet. Dabo was given a ministerial position. I think well, a position. I think that was just enough. So today, if Gambians are crying out loud that they should contest under the coalition ticket, Dabo don't have any right or any basis to say he cannot contest this uh, parliamentary elections under the UDP, under the coalition ticket. In the first, uh, Dabo uh, um, has been a veteran politician in the Gambia. Yajame have committed a lot of atrocities. Dabo has never gone out to the streets. He has never come out, cried out loud and shouted with a loud voice that this is injustice. He will only sit in his corners and say what Yajame is saying is doing is wrong. But he has never come out, you know, to to continue to push the APRC as a government to stop the injustice they were doing because she felt he was not attacked. It was when Yajame now changed the laws of the presidency, the age limit, which did not favor Dabo, 
Dabo and his cohorts came out to the streets. They started to protest that they needed electoral reforms. Looking at it, it was a selfish act he was doing because he feels that this time around he was affected directly. And Gambians have been affected for 22 years. He never did anything. He did not do anything being the leader of the UDP party. He never did anything. It was when it affected him directly, he felt that Gambians should come out and join him in his crusade. Things turned fatal. Some people lost their lives. Sorry to say, I feel they lost their life for Dabo and not for Gambians. Truth be told, there are so many people who lost their life along this process trying to fight for Gambia. People who were, were, were in jail for trying to topple the former regime. You know, and today people like that are not celebrated, which I feel is not fair. Dabo, in fact, for the fact that Adam Abaro is from his party and he was given a ministerial position, I think Gambians don't owe him anything again. We have done our best. We have supported Adam Abaro from the onset. And Dabo, it is now time for Dabo to put Gambia first and put aside party. This, is not, this has nothing to do. I see some people saying Harifa Saleh is a tribal. It has nothing to do with tribalism. You understand what I'm saying? I am a young person and growing up, I've never seen somebody who was outspoken of the former regime like Halifa Salah. Do you understand what I am saying? And then at the end of the day, they came together, they've won the elections, Halifa Salah deserves a tap at the back. He has fought for Gambians. He has been speaking for Gambia when nobody, including Dabo and his cohorts, did not speak. So today, if Dabo is saying he is not going to join the, the, uh, the, the parliamentary election under the coalition ticket, I think Adam Abara should fish him out because he's a traitor, he's greedy, both Dabo and Ahmad Ba. As for Ahmad Ba, if at all it was not for the coalition government, would Ahmad Ba ever in his miserable life be a minister in this Gambia? Because education-wise, I don't think he is that qualified. I don't think so. And in terms of doing something for Gambians. Ahmad Ba have never done anything for any Gambia. What has, what has Ahmad Ba sacrificed for Gambians? He has never done anything. And it is a shame on Dabo, shame on Ahmad Ba for trying to block or trying to destabilize our new Gambia. And we don't want traitors like Ahmad Ba in, in, in our coalition. We don't want traitors like Dabo in the coalition. It is better Adam Abaro, kick them out of the coalition. We forge ahead with our new government because we don't need any stumbling block. Gambians don't owe Dabo anything. Dabo is no hero. He's nothing as far as I am concerned because whatever he did, he did it for his own selfish interest because it was when the electoral reforms, it was when the age limit was changed, which did not suit him. He now was outside on his own crusade shouting, oh, Gambia, everybody come out here. Yeah, I have done this. We need electoral reforms because he felt that it touched him directly. But when it did not touch him directly, he and his cohorts, they never said anything. So today, Dabo should not be celebrated. He should not be celebrated because he did not sacrifice anything for Gambia. He did not do anything for Gambia. Whatever he did, he did it for his own selfish interest. And let us talk about those Gambians who lost their lives in the process of toppling Yaya Jame. Those Gambians who, whose, whose kids have been denied the joy of, of fatherhood. Those Gambians whose kids have been denied the joy of motherhood. Growing up without a father or a mother is very painful. And then at the end of the day, today they are not talking about those people. They are here talking about Dabo and his cohorts who did not do anything for Gambia. Whatever they did, they did for their selfish interests. And I think Dabo should not be part of our new government. Adam Abaro should kick him out, kick Adam Abaro, kick NRP, the NRP leader out, because they, they don't deserve to be part of new Gambia. We want people who are patriotic. We want people who are ready to die for this country. And for the fact that they did not do it for 22 years, and today they've given them ministerial positions, and Gambians did not have any issue with it. They should not come and become a stumbling block for, their, for our new Gambia. Thank you.